So, Lee Clayton, Lee Combat Clayton, how's it going? Good, mate, good. Yeah, so you've just been out in, out again uh, here for the live workout at Kieran Farrell's gym. Um, how did you feel out there tonight? Oh, I mean, I can't wait now, I'm ready, just ready to go next week, feel sharp. Last spar last night with George, and probably one of the best spars I've had in the whole camp, and we've done a lot of sparring in this camp now. Just literally can't get wait, wait to get out there. What do you think about the event itself? I mean, Kieran's put it on Facebook and, you know, live, Facebook Live and you've had people like Anthony Crawler, David May, Asif Valley down here, you know, have you got a chance to speak to these guys? I mean, yeah, well, I know uh, Crawler, I've spoken to him, I've met him quite a few times in the past, he comes down to the village where I work, do swimming and that, so I've been speaking to him, I've known Asif Valley for a bit as well, so, the, like, the word's getting out there now, it's, these aren't small old shows, the, the, he's, he's, Kieran's name, he's, he's getting big now. So no messing about on these shows, and it, it's pleasure to box them, honestly. Yeah, that, you know, that's what the theme of the conversations have been like tonight. You know, we're talking about, you get these small hall shows, and, you know, I've been to a couple of them myself, and, you know, compared to what they're like, to what Kieran's doing here, it's so much, it makes it like a full-on production, like, it's like, oh, yeah. it's like you're on Sky, or it's like you're on Box Nation, or... I feel like a celebrity Yes, like, yeah, exactly. Do. And I'm, I often, you don't really know, on the small hall shows, you, you think, what, who's he? Who's he? But the name's getting out there. Look how many people have turned up in the gym tonight. Just literally for a live workout. The gym were full. Exactly. So this is this is what it's all about, you know. Kieran's doing an absolutely fantastic. I'm sure you'll agree a fantastic job oh, yeah. of putting these things together. Um, so he, he doesn't just train. He, you know, he manages and promotes. He does all three at once. So he's got such a hard job. You know, how how does what he did? You know, what he's been doing here help you in your career? Listen, I've, the first thing I said when I got into boxing was, I want somebody there that wants it as much as me, that wants that will work as hard as me, and that wants it as bad as I do. And to be honest, you ain't gonna get one of someone that wants it as much as Kieran does. So literally, as my manager and promoter, and also I have Nate in there as well helping me out. He's mint, and like I can't like thank him enough. He's just changed me as a fighter. But to have both of them behind me, it's ridiculous, and I. I can't wish for anyone there to be honest. And you know what you're doing it the hard way as well. You you know you didn't really have any amateur background, and you know you've had a few fights. You have you know you have lost a couple of fights, but you know you're on the up now, and yeah. this is the opportunity in Middleton next week to show people who who combat Lee Clayton is, yeah. and you've got the perfect perfect sort of venue to do it at the perfect place under the under the promotional company that are, are really making waves, and you know in the world at the moment. Hundred percent. I mean, like, listen, didn't lose a pair of gloves up until I was twenty one. 28 now, most most people aren't, even the people I'm fighting, they've, been, they've had gloves on since they was 8 years old, 5 years old, whatever. I haven't put them on until 21. This for me is a massive achievement and I'm taking it as far as I can go. Like I've always said, the boxing, it, the money side, don't even think about it, it doesn't matter to me, I couldn't care less how much money I earn. I just want titles. I want to be able to say when I finish boxing I've achieved something and I'm, I won't stop until I get there. You know what, that's the dedication, I guess, people there, you know, it's great to see that. Uh, so, you're obviously ready for it, you've said it in the, earlier on, you're really ready for this next week, you're ready for it, you know. You, you, you work at the village as well, so you've got a day job and you're doing classes in the day, spinning classes and all sorts of classes, and you come here and you're training at night, so it's been a bit of a hard graph for you, oh, um, yeah. compared to some other people, because some other people, you know, get that sponsorship uh, and get that money the way they don't have to do all that to be able to suffice the, the living. So you've got a few sponsors, um, which I'm sure we, you know we've talked about before. And we've given them a shout out before. But yeah, if any, yeah, get it, yeah, show, show him, show him, give him a shout out, give him a shout out now. On the back of the top. Yeah, here we go. You read it. So I've got first off, we've got Westbourne Civil Engineering. Now these have been with me since the start as well. Help me out, pay for my medicals, sort me out every year and like literally can't thank them enough. We've got DP training, Danny Potter, my strength and conditioning coach and if you like you look at pictures from the beginning of my career to now, I'm boxing at the same weight but my muscle has grown ridiculously. I feel so much stronger. Like I feel like I'm hitting with more power and it's only taking me one way. NJ Gardening Service, now that's my fiance's dad. Um, he sponsors me and again, he has done from the start, he helps me out with any of the fees because it's not easy, you've got your medical fees, you've got your licence, you've got all your gear and that extra little bit of money from your sponsorship does really help you out, every boxer will agree with it. Manchester Muscle Supplements, they keep me through my camps, all my proteins, BCAAs, my, my 
they just always there for me sort me out whenever I need it, always ready to top me up with it. So again, massive shout out to them. Like you said, work at the village and not only do I work there, they also sponsor me. They like they give me money towards my medicals and they've bought my kit for the last two fights, which again, it's not cheap. So anything they can do is it really helps out. The milk barn now, these are bang on. And again, they're from Middleton, so me boxing in Middleton. It's great for them, great yeah. exposure yeah, for them. Is, yeah. They sort me out with all my meal preps and to be honest, when you've got to lose a weight and I'm eating their meals, it doesn't even feel like I'm dieting because they taste that nice. And it, you know, it must be, uh, just to interrupt you there, it must be difficult because we have a little bit of a running joke about how hard you've trained and, and you know how much You've, you've dieted to, and to guess what, what, what words <laughs> you know and, and, and you know we talked about what the meal is going to be after the fight and, and I've been winding you up for a couple of weeks now and um, we said you know a Domino's a Domino's a cheeky Domino's has got to be the one I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> you know on a serious note though obviously people at the mill barn you know there's a lot of places like that knocking around at the moment they really help you get down to where you need to be and give you that meal prep so it's good that you've got that type of a sponsor there you've got two more sponsors you want to go I've through as well got three uh, another one he, but he hasn't got a logo so he couldn't be on the top but feeder is saying that uh, access to law again he helps me out and I also PT him as well so we have a little bit of running deal. Service for a service, yeah, exactly, eh? Exactly, exactly. And then we've got Mac Aesthetics. She sort, like I said in the past, she sorts me out of all my Botox as well. So <laughs> that, uh, again, helps me out with me, like, obviously the bit of the sponsorship money. Yeah. Like, sorts me medicals and me license and all. And then Pound for Pound, now, definitely one of the, they are the best boxing equipment around. Literally, I've wear all their stuff. Groin guards, head guards, gloves. I even, even my fight wears all pound for pound gear and yeah they sort me out all the time and the, it's top quality stuff I'd advise anyone to get it to be honest brilliant right Lee so I'll let you go it's time to go home now thanks very much for speaking to us now. I'll see you fight night uh, yeah nice one